This is Fort Blockhouse down at Gosport and for the last 14 weeks it's been home for the Royal Navy Rugby squad as they prepare for Twickenham. We've been working hard for it all year and I mean obviously things didn't quite go our way last year and in the IDRC we had a bit of a tough time um, but this year the boys have come back uh, we've implemented, implemented a few different things and the, the boys are really digging out at the minute which is which is good to see. Um, we went to a dark place against the rough last week and we came out on top which was, which was what we wanted overall you know running into the army game uh, which is a massive fixture for military sport as a whole so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll come out on top again this weekend. We have feel like we've worked really hard for this this year. Um, obviously a good result last week and uh, really looking forward to Saturday and setting a little bit of a score, I think. How, how much was the, the victory at, uh, at Burnaby Road last Wednesday? How much has that helped? Because it's obviously it's come around very quickly. You've been here 14 weeks and you've compacted the two biggest matches in, 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 you know, in 10 days, basically. Mm. Um, th that was a great result for us. Obviously, last, last year we, we unfortunately drew against them and we've really felt like... Um, we, we put together a really good performance and the, the defence really stood up and uh, getting the win was really important for us. We've now got momentum. The Ar Army, I, I know they played a mobs game, uh, but they've not had a, you know, a competitive game now for three weeks. Um, so we have got that bit of momentum. I mean, under no doubt, we're the underdogs again going into this game. The Army are a big red machine. They've got their internationals coming back into the side of England internationals they've got Fijian internationals who uh, you know have played at World Cups but we have a, a belief as we showed last week look you know, playing together digging deep that we, you know we can achieve something and, and play in our game plan that hopefully we can tactically outdo them I've gone to Twickenham watching the game and it's always been as a kid growing up watching my dad at Twickenham I've always wanted that's the only career I wanted doing uh, in rugby is to play at Twickenham in front of a big crowd a big crowd, 80,000. Is it going to be a bit daunting? Uh, yeah, of course it will for the first time. But um, I think every time I get on the pitch, I just uh, drown out the crowd. I just concentrate on the game plan that we've got ahead of us. I think we've, um, we're at a stage now where we, we believe we're in a good space, I think. What's the difference maybe between this year and last year? Um, well, it's a, it's a common question that's been asked this season for us. Uh, we, we don't even know ourselves. But it's something that it just happened for us, and um, I think it's mainly due to to what we've experienced before in the past, and we've learned from that. And as a group, um, we've got a few that has been around for 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 a few years. I think as a group, we we we, we kind of like get together as a, as a as as a one, and we and we know where we're going. It's 2010 since uh, the Navy last, last uh, lifted the, the title. It's high time you did it again, isn't it? Yeah, oh, massively. Yeah, yeah. Boys have been uh, boys have been chomping at the bit. Uh, this is my fourth year now, and unfortunately, I've always been on the the wrong end of the stick. So this year would be be a brilliant one to come out on top of again. We said last year we're not far off being a good side, but we were off. And um, I say we've suffered. So we've we've had a tough 18 months, and uh, anybody that knows me will know that. And um, you know we're. I think we've pulled through it and again we're still a big game and a big result away from it it's still been a tough uh, season but the result last week what was a shot in the arm that we needed because as I say we haven't had some of the luck that we got last week and you know, some of the rubber the green that helped us to get over the line along with the you know, the fearlessness of the side, as we've mentioned, um, the endeavour, just wanted to dig deep and actually stick into game plan. Everyone's staying to script. So, you know, it's very pleasing so far, but lots of work to do still. I've been uh, involved uh, for a good number of years now, and I'm, um, I think I'm lucky to be involved with this group, very, very special uh, uh, special group, and uh, um, a great bunch of talented boys coming through as well. And it's about time, I think, I'm, uh, I'm living in a good place, I think. Oh, it's just a great opportunity and you really need to like make the most of it because it goes in the blink of an eye really so you've got to make the most of it and it's a great opportunity. The last 14 weeks we've stuck as one big group, the older group, the senior group has brought in the under 23s, we've got like six or seven of us coming through and they've brought us as a, as a squad. I think we've stuck through the hard times like you said and hopefully we come away with a win on Saturday. It would mean absolutely everything to win this Saturday and you know pick up that in the services trophy and you know be able to say what we've wanted to say, which is you know we believe we're the best here side uh, in the inter services. So fingers crossed. We've won our first service game this year. They've you know by a point lost to the RF in a game that could have gone either way. Up likewise, um, but we've got that belief and it's a winner takes all game. Um, you know, the loser takes nothing from this. Uh, no, there's no uh, in service trophy, nothing. So it's uh, it's win or nothing. A draw would be good enough. It would be good enough, but um, <laughs> I can't see us playing for a draw. And uh, I think it would be tinged with a bit of sadness if we took it on a draw. And I say we want to go out there and uh, you know 
get a result that we feel we're owed and we deserve.